Now we have another very interesting San Jose juniper and this is a really really complicated one because there are so many different options to this tree. Now let's turn it around in all sorts of different angles. It's extremely well grown and as you can see there are so many trunks and branches, lots of branches to choose. But as I've always said, when you choose branches, don't use thick branches, use thin branches. That's the secret of getting the proportion right. And there is interesting line. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. So the options are almost infinite. If there were 100 people in a room, I dare say you'll get about 50 different solutions to this tree. Uh, and I wouldn't say any single solution would be correct or wrong everyone would be different because we're all different so if I can just turn it at different angles you see that's a very interesting trunk line see you could get a classic informal upright with that tree forget the back one so just have one you can tear the tree in half and get another tree from this side but because it's got a twin trunk oh, you can consider a twin, twin trunk but I think it's too widely forked there so that's difficult so let's look at this side I will put it in a pot to prop it at a different angle to see see that angle may be better uh, looking at the tree so this is a possibility up to here we get a very nice tree but again this is too far away that side so that seems to be wasted so we can make gins out of these thick branches and just wire the thin branches. Uh, so that's one possibility, using it from this side. Let's see what would happen if we turn it this side. Now this is also possible. Ah, oh, but while I was looking at the other side, it suddenly struck me that you can create the image of a tall tree if you can disregard this bit this can be a tall tree with very young branches and then perhaps try and gin this side to no that wouldn't really work it's tempting but I don't think it would work so let's revert to this side and see what happens. Now if I revert to this side, this is interesting. This is quite an interesting tree like this. You can bend that, give it a bit of twist. And this can be a little small tree on the side the problem will be this we may have to make that into a ginned area so that is a possibility so we work towards this solution well we've now done some wiring to this tree you can see that the main apex has been wired the side branches have been wired so that's the tree and we've got these two side branches from the twin trunk but there is one piece that is jutting out which is in the way i think we'll have to get rid of that if you look at this, this is spoiling the line. If you stand back, you can see it goes counter with that. So I'm thinking of taking that off. So the lines all come this way and the back wheel gin. So we probably make a gin from this bit. So here we are on a very, very hot day. The temperature is about 36 degrees and we are working under the shade of these Zalkova trees. What a lovely setting. Uh, it's cooler in the shade under the trees than in the hot sun and in the greenhouse. This we kept it as a twin trunk 
and uh, little bits of gin here, gin here and it's turned out to be a delightful little tree so just a little more wiring and then we're almost done. You're learning a lot? A trench, yeah. Oh fantastic, yeah. Mm. What yeah, is it that you've learned things. most? Placement of gins, size. How to analyse the tree? How to work it out, yeah. Um, make the most of, some of the small branches yeah. and if need be get rid of some of the big ones. Yes, and make and them gins. Not be afraid of it. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah, so, so we're not going to repot the tree at this time of year because it's right in the middle of summer, this is the middle of July. Um, we'll have to wait till February or March of next year to repot it, put it in its uh, bonsai pot and we have the makings of quite a nice little juniper. They develop very well, they oh, thicken yeah. quite quickly.